Hey y'all, welcome to What Chelsea Eats. Thank you so much for joining me today. I did a small haul for four days of juicing and eating fruit, and I wanna share with you what I got from the grocery store. These foods came from Whole Foods Market. You guys know that that's my favorite store, but you can go to any grocery store that you want to to pick up the items that you want. Most of these items are organic, but I'm not against buying conventional if I don't have access to organic fruits or vegetables. I just wanted to give you that caveat because a lot of people think that you can't do this lifestyle unless you're doing 100% organic and that is not the case. If you can afford organic or find organic, then great. But if not, buy conventional. It's better than going and doing the things that we have been doing that created the lifestyle issues that we have right now. So the first thing I wanna talk about are the bananas. And just speaking of non-organic, these aren't organic. Um, the reason that I purchased these instead of organic, because the store clearly had organic bananas, but they had none that were close to being ripe. So I picked these up so that I would have some that are close to being ripe. And then I've got mangoes. These are organic champagne mangoes. I absolutely love them. I peel them and eat them. They taste like candy. I love them. Then they had organic blueberries on sale. So I had to grab a box of that, a back box of those. This is an 18 ounce box. And normally these are like $8 in my Whole Foods and I got them for five. Here are the organic bananas. They were about 20 cents more than the non-organic bananas. Uh, I do prefer organic bananas over non-organic bananas, but it's not that big of a difference. And the reason I went on and picked these up is because these um, are not as ripe as the ones that I just showed you. And I wanted to have some that were stepping. So as the days go on and I eat the ones that are ripe, these will be on the table ripening or on the counter ripening and they'll be ready at the end of the week. Next, I've got some Granny Smith green apples and these are for my juice juices. I normally don't put any fruit in my green juice, but I am making a really spicy juice this week. So I decided to at least have some apples on hand just in case I need them. And there's nothing wrong with putting apples in your juice or putting fruit in your juice. It's just that I prefer my green juices to be green, green, all green. Then lemons, lemons uh, I use for water and I also use them for juice. So for example, if I make the juice and it's too bitter, I will add lemon. Or if it's not sweet enough, I will add lemon because it will knock off some of the harsh taste in the green juice. So I always like to keep lemons on hand for that. And I got some habaneros. So I'll be putting habaneros in each juice that I make this week. I'll be making juices Tuesday through, I have celery juice for today, but I'll be making a variety of green juice um, on Tuesday through Friday. And then I will go back to the store on either Saturday morning or Friday evening um, for the weekend into Monday. Okay, and then I have English cucumbers. I absolutely love English cucumbers. They're my favorite cucumbers. Um, I also like pickling, pickling cucumbers, but I like these for juicing. And I don't always buy these organic because sometimes I can't find them organic or the price is so ridiculous that I just refuse to buy them organic and I bring the regular conventional ones home and I wash them and use them and they, they're just fine. Next, I've got some mint that I'm gonna be putting in my smoothie. I'm not smoothie, well you can use mint in your smoothie, but I'm gonna be using this in my juice. This is good for the digestive tract and it is good and it tastes, the, te the juice actually tastes pretty good. You can also use these fresh mint leaves in your, you can make an herbal tea out of them. And then I've got dandelion. I've got two bunches of dandelion here. So two days I will be putting dandelion in my green juice. And I also have some kale, two bunches of kale in my refrigerator. So two of my days <coughs> will have kale in them. Also, I like to add celery in my juice 
my green juice and I didn't need to buy any because I have four heads in my refrigerator. Next, I have some parsley, baby, uh, flat leaf parsley. I have two bunches and I like to add these to my, these herbs to my green juice because they're alkalinizing and detoxifying and healing. And also cilantro, I have two bunches here. Um, I think I have four bunches. I have four bunches of flat leaf parsley and I have four bunches of um, cilantro. Yes, that's what I have. The cilantro is good for heavy metal detox. Uh, people who have been on pills or been take birth control pills, any type, type of prescription drug, over-the-counter drug, just drinking our water or just living in this world, you're exposed to heavy metals. So it's always good to do something to cleanse heavy metals out of your system. Uh, let's see, this is ginger. Got a lot of ginger. I like my, my juices to be heavily gingered. And these are the other two bunches of uh, cilantro. I've got four burdock root, fresh ones that I will put through my juicer as well. And I have some turmeric too, let's see, turmeric, yes. I got turmeric that I will be putting through my juicer as well um, for my green juice. And also I have some Rainier cherries, which I'll be eating. So what I have in my refrigerator already is I have watermelon, I have grapes, and I think I have one other melon in there, I'm not sure. But between what I bought today and what I will be buying, I mean, what I have in my refrigerator, I have enough for four days of juicing and four days of eating fruit. So that's what I will be doing this week. So this cost, let's see, I bought some toiletries too, so I'm not really sure. I spent a total of $131, but I bought something for my hair, which was $20. I bought something for $10 that was uh, body wash. Let's see, I think 40. So this was probably about $80 for, the, for all of this. Now, Whole Foods, in my opinion, is an expensive grocery store. But what I have found in my city, at least, I'm not sure about where you live. I can't speak for where you live, but I live in North Carolina. And it seems like the regular grocery stores are the same price, if not more, for some of these items. So I can't, just the grocery prices are just expensive these days. And for me, I just have to say that I am one that tries to buy high quality food because it's one of those things that I need for my life. Like I, I need to buy high quality food because if not, if I don't eat well, I don't feel well. That's just how it is for me. And a lot of you may be, it may experience that as well. So I choose to spend my money on my food so that it's high quality instead of, you know, going to Starbucks and, you know, spending it on, you know, fancy shoes and, you know, designer handbags and wigs and all that stuff. And I don't have anything against any of those things, but I had to prioritize my food being important as far as what I spend my money on, because if I don't, it doesn't matter how many designer bags I have. I won't be able to wear any of them because I'll be sick. So Anyway, that's just my story. So if you are struggling with, you know, paying for, you know, your healthy food, really look at what you're actually spending your money on and prioritize what you feel is the important thing for you to spend your money on. Start to learn how to grow your food, which I'm starting to learn those things as well. And it's not an easy task, but I'm learning. And I'm hoping that by next year, a lot of these things that I buy from Whole Foods and some of these um, farmers markets and et cetera, I will be able to just go to my backyard and be able to grab some of this stuff. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful to you. If you like this video, like it. And if no one told you that they love you today, Chelsea in North Carolina loves you very much. And I will talk to you soon. Take care.